What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up everyone? As you can see, today I have five finds, I don't know if I said that correctly, uh, USB gaming microphone kit. Yes, it is a full-on kit. This is the A6T specifically, so if you can't find it just by looking up what I just said, you can try the A6T. Keep in mind, I do put links in the description of my videos, so you don't even have to Google it. But if you want to try Googling it, that is how you can try to look it up. You might notice I'm holding this very weird. I am holding it like this because I just want to show you what it kind of looks like as a full kind of setup like this. I'll take it apart then and go over each section uh, pretty much because it's a little hard to show, uh, put up, like set up fully, and then talk about each section. I'm gonna have to take it apart anyway. So I figured this was the easier way. So you can see I also have it plugged in. But alas, let me talk about what we have here. So in the box, let me go ahead and grab the user manual real quick. We have the user manual. We have this pop filter. We have pretty much every segment that is connected here. The clasp that pretty much clasps, clasps Sorry, that's hard to say. Onto the table, we have the wire, you know, for plugging it in. We have the boom arm. We have the mic, which is connected to like this whole rig right here. Again, I'll go over in a bit. Let me go ahead and unplug this. Keep in mind, um, the reason I actually bought this was because I fell into the hype of, I need to see what's so special about a gaming related microphone is there any reason to buy it so i will be going into that later on in the video pretty much is the hype real or is it overrated and let me tell you i have some strong opinions on this so definitely stay tuned for that again link for this is in the description if you want to follow along as far as this mic is concerned this whole setup is concerned because i will say i think the overall price for this is great um, i think the mic is a very good mic it's good quality but of course i do have some major concerns that i will touch on so real quick, some general info on this. It works on Windows, Macs, PS4, and 5. It has a 8.3 foot, which is 2.5 meter USB cable. It has a gradient RGB lighting mic that you saw earlier. It also has a touch mute button on the top, which I will show kind of how that looks in a bit. And it attaches to tables that have a thickness of about two inches. So let me go ahead and start taking this apart. So first thing you're gonna notice, I'm taking off this bit and this is the bit that will pretty much connect to your table if you've never seen one of these let me just grab like a box that kind of represents a thickness of a table this is about one inch probably a little bit more or less pretty much put this into the table and then you tighten it up with this all right simple enough nothing too complicated there go and move that out of the way then this of course is to tighten up this end so I like to keep this pretty loose actually, because then what I can do is, again, this is gonna look a little strange, but pretty much I can rotate, I can swivel this, which is what I like to do when I have, you know, reasons to need to do that. Like, let's say you are interviewing someone, you only have one mic, you might wanna swivel like that. That's not the ideal way to interview someone, but that is an option. Or if you're kind of moving around a little bit in your seat for gaming purposes, then you might want it to be able to swivel a bit in case you need to move it out of your way a little bit or if you're just moving around and your mouth is moving further away from the mic, those kinds of things. Then of course we have the boom arm that we have here. You can see where it bends. Let me turn it the other way because that's where, oh gosh, yeah, take a good look at my arm. Anyways, here is the arm, my arm and this arm, uh, the boom arm. As you can see, we do have this knob to tighten this and we have this area to pretty much tighten and loosen this little, I'm gonna call it a stick, because that's what I like to call it, which is where we have this connecting. And in order to attach the mic, I just turn around and round. Man, that scraping sound is annoying, I know. Sorry about that. The reason I detach the mic is so you can see this. As you can see, hopefully you can still hear me over all that scraping. Uh, so, I don't know, should I talk about issues I have now? Eh, let's, let's wait a little bit before I talk about issues. Why not? I'll go ahead and move this out of the way now. We shall grab the actual mic itself. I actually 
kind of like this mic because it's lightweight. It It's not indestructible, but it doesn't feel like it will break super easily. You know, it's plastic versus like some of my other mics. They have a plastic outside as well, but um, it feels a little bit more, other ones feel a little bit more delicate. This one doesn't feel as delicate. Uh, you can see the mic is kind of like secure in here because it has four bungees that pretty much keep it in place no matter what. You have no reason to take it off of this, which is probably why they made it like this. Um, I like this design personally because again, very secure, it's not gonna fall out. Um, right here we have a knob. You might see it's rotating. This is for volume control. You might be able to see the volume kind of symbols there. On the top, we have the mute. You just tap it to mute or unmute. The color will turn off when you mute it versus when it's unmuted. This knob, of course, is if I can loosen it. Man, why is this not loosening? Maybe I'm not, there we go. Yeah, I was turning it the wrong way because I don't know, you know, lefty loosey, righty tidy, all that stuff. Anyways, that's to loosen this part, which connects to the boom arm. Let me go ahead and plug this in real quick. Let me find that wire. I've got a lot of wires around my vicinity. Uh, uh, uh. There is the USB plug-in port. All right, so you can see the colors are on. It's very bright, which I personally like. Let me go ahead and turn off my overhead light. So a lot of ambient light coming into my room, but as you can see, it is a very bright light that does kind of just change on its own. I don't believe there's a way to specifically control that. If there is, let me know in the comments, but as far as I know, it will always go into this gradient, dual gradient mode that just keeps changing on its own. To mute, as I mentioned, you tap the top, and sometimes, there we go. So as you can see, it can be a little bit fidgety on how well it works, but once I've hit it, you'll know because the light will go off. Hit it again, light to turn back on, unmuted. Good way to know if you're playing a game or something, you need to mute yourself real quick, or you're doing some kind of stream, want to mute yourself real quick. You know, that is a handy feature. Uh, the tap, you know, is good and all. You just have to kind of tap a little hard just to make sure you get it on the first try. Uh, but yeah, let me show you with the light back on where this pop filter goes. Pop filter right there. You just lock it into place like so. The reason I'm not putting it in is because it's very difficult to take out once you do. Um, at least I find it pretty difficult. As you can see, it is very easy to break. I didn't even put it in all the way yet. So that way it'd be easier to take out. But keep in mind, once you put it in, you're not supposed to really be taking it out anyways. Um, yeah, look at that little smiley face on the pop filter. Isn't it cute and all? Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and put mine on so you can see kind of what the overall look is. There we go. Your mic is smiling at you. That's what you want to see when you're streaming. And then, you know, again, it can be pretty hard to take off sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and take it off so it's easier for you to see what I'm talking about as I now talk about it. Let me also show you the manual real quick. Yes, I know I'm going through this kind of quickly, but I think it is important for you to be able to see this in case you lost your manual. I am just going to kind of scroll through this because it is one big manual. And I suggest you pause if you need to at any point. Um, hopefully this comes out very clear. I'm hoping it doesn't come out blurry at all. Give me one sec to grab the other end of this. Instructions on how to use it on Macs, because you know Macs are just built differently. Not good, not bad, and well, I, I don't, oh, and there goes the boom arm next to me. Anyways, Windows settings as well. Personally, I didn't have to fidget with any of this. Mine was plug and play, as it should be for most of you. You know, obviously if you're using a recording software, you might have to do a little bit of fidgeting like it shows here, but otherwise it shouldn't be anything too complicated. So that is the end of this long, menu that we have over here. I know it's a manual. I like calling it a menu. Anyways, so audio test. I will kind of just stop right here real quick, put in like an audio clip so you can hear what the audio quality is like. All right, so now I'm talking into the microphone itself. I have it about maybe about a foot away from my face. This is about how far I usually keep it if I'm talking. Um, I'll go ahead and space it out even more now. So now I have it at about two, two and a half feet. So this should give you a good idea. This is a normal talking volume for me. I'm not screaming, I'm not speaking louder because of the mic being further. And now I'm gonna move back closer to the mic, again, about a foot, maybe a little bit less away from me. So that way you get an idea of the quality. Personally, I do think the quality of this mic is good. I don't think it's amazing, but I think for most people, this is perfectly fine. You don't need an expensive mic to get this quality. And I think this will do just the job that you need. Okay. so. Let us talk about this pretty much overall. 
Um, as far as streaming, as far as the volume control, like how this is built, I think it is a good bang for your buck as far as, yeah, it's a good overall setup. You don't need to buy anything extra. I do like it. I do also not like it at times. Um, things that I like specifically, let's talk about this. We'll talk about each section one at a time. Let's do that. So let's start with this. This, nothing wrong with it. Um, I've used this for a lot of different mics. You know, it's good. It has good grip. Um, it's very secure. Obviously you want to make sure that the table that you're putting on is like, like pretty much like what I showed you earlier, like this, where it's uh, a square cube, pyramidal, whatever the heck it's called. Pretty much that way this stays on secure. It won't slip off. That's very important. No issues with this. Let's move on to the part that I dropped earlier and let me go grab it real quick. The boom arm. So I personally did not like the boom arm and uh, let me go and show you why. So overall, it's just a standard boom arm, you know, like nothing too special there. Um, issue I have is it won't stay in place. Like, yeah, right now it looks okay, but if you see, it's kind of expanding slowly and it really doesn't stay too well in place. Like it's very, very loose, like just very subtly pulling it up. will make it go up. And this is as tight as it goes too, by the way. Like I have this secured as tight as possible, but it is, oh God, I flinged out pretty far. But as you can see, I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm just putting my hand under so that way it doesn't break my desk. So it is very loose if it's upside down. If it's right side up, yeah, it can kind of stay a little bit. It's not expanding super quick. Um, but that is something I personally don't like about this boom arm. Keep in mind, you don't need to use this one. If you have your own, you can use your own. If you want to buy another one, you can buy another one. Usually these are like universal type of things where the screw, it can work on other ones. But yeah, that's the issue I have with this. Fully tightened, still very, very loose. Let me go and show you upside down again. It just opens on its own. So that's an issue I have with the boom arm itself. That's also why it fell off my table earlier. Um, if you heard me say, shoot, something fell off, that's what fell off because it opened on its own. All right, pop filter. You might be thinking, how could you have any issues with a pop filter? Well, I know why they made the pop filter like this. It's so it doesn't look odd. It kind of fits really well with the overall look of this. The reason I don't like these plastic ones is because they, the clips on them just break super easily. When you put it on here, like I mentioned, if you try taking it off, it's very easy to break. And also sometimes it just breaks on its own because it's such a loose connection there. You know, it's just, like if it accidentally bends forward a little bit or back, it breaks. And I've had multiple of these types break, not specifically for this one. So, you know, this one might be different. Uh, just like, you know, it could be, but that's something to keep in mind. Now about this, uh, one thing that I didn't like, and I have to bring back the arm for this, is that when I do attach it here, let me go ahead and do that. Well, I'm not gonna do it because it's just a pain. But when you attach it, it's very loose. Like it can, this will turn back and forth even at its max tightness. Um, I don't know why that is. I, I guess just the way it's made, they they didn't take the best precaution as far as tightening that kind of stuff. Um, you know, these aren't like huge make or breaks for me. It might be for you. I'm just letting you know, cause you know, if you're gonna spend this much on a full set like this, that is something to keep in mind. Uh, things I did like about this uh, mic though itself is of course the color scheme just looks nice. Audio quality is pretty good too. I wouldn't say it's like astounding by any chance. Um, by any, man, I cannot talk today. It's not astounding, but it is good. I like the fact that you can't control audio, the volume from here and the mute from up here. Um, those are good things, bad things. It feels super cheap because it does feel like a lightweight plastic. That could be a pro for some of you because it also feels like it won't break super easily. You know, I think that personally is a pro for me because I don't want it to break super easily if I do drop it, which honestly, I do drop these types of things quite often. So. To me, that's a pro. For you, it might be a con. You know, just buyer beware, letting you know ahead of time. Uh, audio quality, like I said, is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. You have the audio sample that I recorded that you can judge for yourself. Wire is nice, of course. Um, it is very long, so good for setups where you might have to plug it in far away. Overall, I would recommend this. I definitely think this is a great mic. I do think it is cool and all. Do I think it's overrated as far as Oh, I need a gaming mic. I don't think you need a gaming mic unless you really just want the color scheme. If you're looking for quality, 
rather than looks and like overall style, like if all you care about is quality of the audio, probably go for something else. If you want something that fits into your overall look of a streamer as a gamer or whatever, then I'd probably recommend this because yeah, this definitely does stand out and will kind of elevate your overall look. All right, that is it for this video. I know this was kind of long, long-winded, talked a lot, both pros and cons. Hopefully this helped, but keep in mind, link for this description below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thank you for watching. Peace out.